grandchildren, grandchildren, stepchildren, cousins, you know, I feel like, I feel like I saw something in my nose at the bottom. I ain't watched nobody's TV last night, so we're going to do a rambling report, because I ain't done one in a minute. It's been like, what, a week? Four, five days? I don't know. But uh, rambling report is due today. So, Disney is reportedly planning a full Black Panther campaign for the Oscars uh, for, for next year, obviously. Cute. Cute. <laughs> I mean, I would be very, very surprised if Black Panther didn't win Oscars. <laughs> I would be real surprised and I would know that it's because of white people. Dwayne Wade, or excuse me, Dwayne Wade, because his name's not spelled Dwayne. It's not spelled Dwayne. It's just not. I've been looking at it for years. Every time I look at it, it's still not spelled Dwayne. Like, that's just not the word. It's D-W-Y-A-N-E. Dwayne. Anyway, uh, he visits Parks, Parkland's Stoneman Douglas High School, which is, I guess, the school where that last shooting took place. Well, good for him for visiting the school. I hope he donated some money to some funerals or something, because why are we looking at him going to the school? Like, no shade, but what's the point of me looking at this man taking pictures at the high school? In the words of my grandmother, you say that to say what? And oh, and I hate it when she says that to me, but honestly, what, what's being said here? Divorce, debt, and dates. The Real Housewives of Potomac are back for a dramatic season three. Y'all know I review, well, uh, the majority of y'all don't know, but <laughs> those of you that have been around for a long time, I don't know who y'all are, because <laughs> the only people that talk to me regularly are the new folks, but the old girls know that I do Potomac. Um, Potomac is a little different to me than Atlanta. They get on my nerves too, but it's a little bit different. I can stand them a little bit better sometimes on occasion. But cute, I'll be here for season three. The thirst is real, girl cracks her retainer after seeing a shirtless Michael B. Jordan and Black Panther. Why do I care about this girl and her retainer? Michael B. Jordan's shirtless in Black Panther especially wasn't all that sexy to me because it made me itch. It's not like Michael B. Jordan had his all, you know, smooth abs and all of that. He looked like he had a bunch of mosquito bites. I was itching boots. But okay, girl, y'all will find a way to lust. Y'all will lust past the mosquito bites and everything. Jamie Foxx names Tiffany Haddish the new queen of comedy. Why is Jamie Foxx naming anybody anything? Can he sit over there with Katie? And, and, and Suri and his giant hands and, and please excuse them and leave us alone. Something about Jamie I just don't live for. A woman arrested for stealing $150,000 in cash and jewelry from pro boxer at Jay-Z's 4040 Club. Okay. Take her to the brig. Uh, Stormy Daniels is so I don't get nothing about this. Blues Clues Nickel Nickelodeon reboot blah blah blah. The, the caption says who asked for this? A Blues Clues reboot is coming to Nickelodeon. Why do you care who asked for it? Ain't nobody that watched Blue's Clues gonna watch the reboot. This is for the children. <laughs> so I could see if it was like a living single, I mean not living, I want the living single reboot, but like the Martin reboot, who asked for that? Who did ask for that? Because grown people were watching Martin and those same grown people, or, or even young people who are now grown were watching Martin, and those same grown people would tune in, would be the demographic for, for Martin, a reboot. Blue's Clues is children. It's not like they're making an adult Blue's Clues. <laughs> it's gonna be for the kids. Let the kids have blues clues just like we did. I enjoyed Steve when they switched over to Joe. I couldn't do it anymore, but Steve was it. Reboot the show for the babies. Let's see. Adrian Bailon's imaginary future children won't be allowed to watch her episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Okay. Okay. Male escort exposes 30 plus actively gay priests by sending a file to the Vatican full of private chats and photos. Okay. I want to figure out why, F-I-G-G-Y, figure out why the priesthood in the Catholic Church has such a high concentration of gay men. I don't understand. What, what, is that the criteria when they're signing you up for, for, for priestliness? Do you love, you know, the Lord? Yes. You gonna, you know, not have sex with women? Yes. You're gay? Yes. Like, what's the criteria here? Because it's, it's really, really highly concentrated. Not only are Catholic priests gay, but a lot of them are pedophiles. And I want to know why. I want to get to the root. Is it because they grew up in the Catholic Church and other gay pedophilic uh, priests were feeling on them so they feel like this is what we must do? I'm confused. 
I'm real confused. I'm more concerned about the pedophilia than the homosexuality, but I'm still confused either way. Sitting here trying to, you know, rack my brain. Usher and Grace done broke up, honey. She could have really went on and broke up with him in the height of this herpes scandal instead of dragging it out and having us wait until the girls, you know, for all intents and purposes have forgotten about Usher. And then coming back around saying, yeah, girls, I'm leaving them. You could have been laughing. We would have understood. When the first girl came out and said he had green stuff oozing from his pe penis, then you could have said, oh, well, look, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. I, I'm not going to be able to do it. Like, Usher, I wish you the heavenly best. I wish you the best. I wish you some red to counteract that green. Um, but I won't be able to do anything any, any longer. You could have done that. But instead, you stood by your man. And now we're supposed to, ex you expect me to care that you're leaving this man. I don't care anything about Usher. And I'm telling you, I didn't know that man was married until this, this green ooze started <laughs> seeping from his penis. I didn't know he had remarried. I don't know this, ooh, Jesus. I looked down at her and it, it, it unnerved me. Let me put this picture up here so y'all can see. Can you see her? Catch Grace. Get, get into Grace. You can't see her real good. But anyway, honey, she's giving me some Dozal teas. Dozal and a lot of other stuff going on in this picture. I don't know. She may be cute. But every time I saw her, she had her head down because she was shamed. Oh, stay with it. Um, so I don't know. But I don't care. Woman attacks black actor with a beer bottle. I'm white. I can kill you. Nothing will happen. No. Uh-uh. That's not quite how it works. As a matter of fact, niece, if you kill them, you're going to go to jail. And then when you get to jail, you're going to find a lot of other black women in jail. And when you get to the jail and find all these black women and, you know, the girls find out what you're in for, they're going to they gonna beat you down. That's just pretty much, that's what's going to go on. I hope you find your way in jail some other kind, type, 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 ah, kind or type of way. Because um, I don't want you to kill nobody, but I do want you to go to jail just because, girl, you feel like you can uh, kill a black man and nothing will happen. Because that's just not the truth. Jeremy Meek settles divorce. Okay, girl. I don't care nothing about Jeremy Meeks. I don't care about his mugshot. I don't care about his white wife talking about, you know, she done, he done left her high and dry. I don't care about any of it, any piece. Not a half, not a quarter, not a portion. Uh, Rihanna is reportedly ready, readying her own lingerie line. Okay. Bobby Brown says he would love for the coroner to change Whitney Houston's death certificate. It wasn't drug use. Bobbert Brown, niece, if anybody is qualified to deem someone's um, someone's state of death, someone's, uh, how they, they died. Uh, it would be a coroner, Bobbert. It wouldn't be you. It's not you, Bobbert Brown. You didn't go to school to, 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 to call out times of death. You didn't go to school to call out ways of death. You didn't go to school to call out none of that. I don't even know that you went to school. Bobbert, I'm tired. Stop popping up every time talking about Whitney and Bobby Christina. We trying to let them rest in peace. Why you can't let them rest in peace? Oh, well, Robert Brown said he had sex with a ghost, so I can't, I can't expect Bella. Uh, Compton Mayor Aja Brown to run against Stacey Dash for Congress. Tiffany Haddish to start along alongside Tika. Tika. Why, why can't nobody say her name? I can say her name, but I be watching everybody on YouTube. They be calling her Tinka. Clear as day. It's not an end right there. Y'all got me saying it. It's T-I-K-A. Tika. T like Tiki, but Tika. Tika something. <laughs> and Omari Hardwick in Tyler Perry's The List. As much as I'm enjoying uh, the popularity surrounding Tiffany Haddish, um, I don't know that I want this. I feel like I'm just up in the air. And let me give you my reason why. Tyler Perry has a real shuck and jive-ish way about him. So you could have went had you been ready. The Bible says, be ye also ready. Now you got to wait. Um, Tyler has this shuck and jive about him. Um... That's just aggravating. Tiffany Haddish is real, real uh, down to earth. She's cultureful. And I feel like the combination of Tiffany Haddish being uh, what a lot of people would deem ghetto, and I'm not going to say that about her. This is on my nerves. And Tyler Perry having a lot of shuckishness in his situation. Um, I feel like it's going to get on my nerves. 
that's what I feel. I feel like it's gonna really get on my nerves. And then Tika Sumpla is bougie, no shade, but she is. It, and then Omari Hardwick, can we let him go? Can we let him go? He just light skinned with a beard. Like there's nothing about him that. Okay, y'all love him. Y'all love him. I'll let you love him. I'll let you do that. But he don't. He don't impress me. He almost gives me the Drake DJ Khaled thumb with a beard look. Like if I draw a beard on my thumb, that's what it look like. Drake DJ Khaled or Omari Mar Hardwick. Oh, I done done too much. Hold on. I'm back. Child, the sun is trying me. She's trying it. Wendy Williams taps Jerry O'Connell for to guest host during her hiatus. I didn't care about it. I don't care about it. I mean, I can't even find a care. I looked. I looked when I got up this morning. I said, is there a cab located anywhere in this house for Wendy Williams? Is there one? Won't you come? They didn't come. Issa Rae to host 2018 CFDA Awards. Okay. I don't even know what the CFDA award. Am I tripping? Is that something I should know? I don't like award shows, so I don't pay attention. This son is trying me today. Um, Kenya Moore. I'm skipping right on over that. Uh-uh. Usher again. I won't. He got a... Usher got a rather strange eye flower chin tattoo. I should have skipped it. I should have skipped it just like I did Kenya Moore. Uh, Sade's first song in seven years, Flower of the Universe. It's uh, on the um, A Wrinkle in Time soundtrack. I really, in my mind and in my heart, thought A Wrinkle in Time wasn't coming out till May. My good, good girlfriend said, uh uh, March. And I said, What? What? I'm not ready. I'm still reeling on the Black Panther. The Black Panther. I can't. I need a minute. I'm really, to be honest, and I know, I know I'm probably one of the only ones, but I'm not really all that hyped to see A Wrinkle in Time. Like, I love, 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 love Ava's work. Love it. Big time love it. And I know it's going to be beautiful. But girl, Mindy Kaling, no shade, but I can't do her. I, I'm, I'm unable to do her. Stevie J going to jail for not paying his child support. Monique Slaughter is booted but naked before my very eyes oh yeah rick ross went home rick ross went home we're not gonna stop praying for him just because he at home but we're gonna praise god that he made it lil wayne ordered to take paternity test for alleged 16 year old son man arrested charged with felony theft after sealing francis mcdormand's oscar tiffany haddish revealed she was invited to beyonce and jay-z's oscar after party i mean y'all really everybody was like Beyond. Wait a minute, why the Best Buy sign off? The Best Buy, did they move? The sign is just not on the building. Is they gone? They didn't call me and say I'm moving or nothing. Lord, are they just changing the sign? Ain't no sign on that store. Lord Jesus, let me look at, at the marquee, see if their name's still on the marquee. Lord Jesus, is they gone, Lord? Look like they gone. Yeah, they gone, Jesus. I was on my way over there, too. I wanted to look at some computers and things. Lord Jesus, I wonder how they coming back. Are y'all remodeling? What's going on? Anyway, everybody wanted to talk about how Beyonce dragged Tiffany Haddish in her song and she did this and went in on that. I'm just like, girl, she was playing. Everybody was playing. Don't nobody have time. I don't have time. <laughs> anyway, Mary J. I Mary J. Ash, Lord. Mary J. Blige done uh, got shared a Kim do. And we thanking God. Um, there may or may not be an on the run too. Um, first of all, it is real, real inconsiderate, Beyonce, of you to just be dropping tour dates. Let the girls know a tour is coming so that I can get my money together. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have the coin right now. And you're not coming to my city. So if I do go to the concert, I'm going to have to pay for travel and pay the coin for the tickets. I got to pay room and board. Girl, you need to let people know ahead of time. I can't. I can't. Like, I love Beyonce, but dang. For real? You that level of exclusive, exclusivity where the girls can't? I'm tired. I went to see Janet Jackson, and I had the time to gather the coin. I went to see Escape, and I had the time to gather the coin. Beyonce just dropped tickets, and then they gone. I can't. Viola Davis calls for more white women to stand in solidi solidarity and follow Jessica Chastain's example. All right. 
not so fast. Taraji P. Henson clears up Ryan Seacrest shade rumor says her red carpet. Stay with it. Her red carpet moments were misconstrued. Why would this car be so close over on me? Yeah. The fact of the matter is simply this. See? Ignite. <laughs> the fact of the matter is simply, I don't care. It was a cute moment. It was real shady, but I loved it, Boots. And that's all. Like, whether she was intentionally shady or unintentionally shady, she was shady. And it was delightful. Delightful. That was, the, honestly, the best child anyway. Sandra Bullock speaks on the emotional impact of Black Panther as the mother of a black son. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Girl, why we ain't ask Jada Pinkett, why we ain't ask uh, Garcelle Beauvoir? Well, not Garcelle, honey, because them babies. We love them. We love both of them. All two of them, but black. Like, no shade, but uh, but why we ain't ask um Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union and Janet Jackson got a black baby, blackish. <laughs> why we ain't asking black people? Why we asking Sandra Bullock? Which I mean, she cool. She always been cool. Like we love her, her movies and things. But why y'all asking her about the impact of Black Panther? That's okay. All right. Anyway, girl, I'm gonna go in this in this store and do this job, and I'll call y'all later. Peace.